Hi, this is Simone and this is Bouncing on the Trampoline of Life. And today I'd like to talk to you about questions that I ask. Um, and I realize that they also pertain to all kinds of relationships, not just like dating romantic relationships, which is what I've been using them for. So they're really simple. There are three, there's three of them. <laughs> Sorry, I can't count apparently. Um, first of all is number one, would they be fun? Number two is, would this be easy? Or would they be easy? Play around with that one. And number three, would I learn something? So I've been playing with these three questions for probably about two, maybe three years. Um, and I guess one of the reasons it took me so long to use them was that there's not a lot of people that would be fun, easy, and you would learn something I discovered, at least for me, maybe for you it's different. But, um, so I've been playing with these tools and the neat thing is that <laughs> when I ignore one of them, for instance, would I learn something, I discover why that question is included. <laughs> and the reason it's included is because if you won't learn something, often I found that the person was really boring. And that's not that, to say that they wouldn't be really interesting for somebody else. Just for me, it just wasn't interesting. Um, easy, i.e. is it gonna be just like breathing being around them or is, are you gonna have to work really hard? <laughs> so that's one that I'm really like, okay, yes, it has to be easy. And would it be fun? Well, for me, that's never a question I really tried to sort of like sneak past because for me, if it's not fun, there's no point. Um, and that's why I use these tools is because they're really fun. Um, and it's like magic. Like I can't tell you any time where this hasn't worked. So what I do is I make sure that I'm really relaxed and um, what some people would call expanded. So I'll close my eyes and I'll feel my feet on the floor and I'll feel my butt in the chair or just breathe and just relax and then I'll ask. Because I don't know about you, but if I ask from this <laughs> space, I don't really get an answer that is, you know, like I overthink it or I try and force it or something like that. So would it be fun? Would it be easy? Would I learn something? Now when I ask those and I get a yes for all three, it's amazing what shows up. Like I have a great time and it might just be for one date. So I don't just ask, you know, like I keep asking over and over. I don't just ask once. Um, would it be easy? It is. It's just like, you know, like we have a great time. Uh, we have loads of fun. Would I learn something? I find that I'm like really intrigued by them and what they do and who they are. And it's just amazing. Um, one that I've added to the mix, um, so I guess this is question number four, is would they be grateful? Um, which I ask now. And the cool thing is when I ask that is you do get people that are just thankful for you and grateful for you and, you know, adore you for you. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, I don't know about you, but I've been looking that pretty much all my life. And now I'm gonna start asking about it in friendships too and see, just see where that takes me. I mean, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work, who knows? So um, try it out folks, see if it works for you. It's been fun for me. Uh, I'll talk to you later.